I'm Dr. Gary Glassman here at the annual convention for the American Association of Endodontists. A recent survey from the JOE found that although the Endovac is a relatively new irrigation technology, almost 10% of endodontists like myself are using this phenomenal technology to achieve higher success rates in fewer appointments with significantly less post-operative pain. I've just reviewed a new study that not only demonstrates the incredible efficacy of the endovac to clean the inaccessible parts of the root canal almost 1,000 percent better than the next system at their safety limits, but also proved that the endovac produces an incredible vacuum pressure beyond the apical foramen. This means we can literally go beyond the outside of the root canal space and aspirate the inflammatory components from the periradicular area. To show you what I mean, let me take you to my office and show you a quick three-minute video where I successfully treated a percussion-sensitive patient using the endovac in a routine single-visit appointment. Welcome, Mar. I'm glad you're here because I know you've been suffering with a toothache for a while now, and uh, today we're going to get you out of your pain. Thank you. Yes, do you have any? Do you have any questions before we begin? Just how much discomfort might I feel during the procedure, and what about afterwards, like tonight? Well, we're going to anesthetize you really well, so you're not going to feel anything during the procedure. And tonight, once the anesthesia wears off, you'll feel minimal discomfort to pressure. That shouldn't last more than a couple days, and will be relieved by something as mild as ibuprofen. Let me explain. At this point in her treatment, we have completed all instrumentation and are just beginning to use the Endovax macro cannula for the final irrigation. Notice the tube lying over my hand and the rapid delivery of sodium hypochlorite at 8 milliliters per minute. Now carefully watch the endovax evacuation tube as the inflammatory components causing her pain are literally evacuated from the periradicular area. Slow at first, then rapidly. As I stop the endovac aspiration, it is observed that spontaneous bleeding has begun, thereby relieving her periradicular pressure without the need for antibiotics, pain pills, an intracanal medication, or a second appointment. Now let's bring her back the next day and see how she did. So how did the procedure go? I thought it went very well. It was painless. I was well anesthetized. Fantastic. And how do you feel today? I feel great. No discomfort at no all? No discomfort at all. That's great. You had a very inflamed pulp, which means that the blood vessels were engorged with blood and it put a lot of pressure on the surrounding nerve, which explains why the tooth was uncomfortable before. Okay. So you're going to feel quite a bit of relief, obviously you have, after the root canal treatment was done. Yes, very much so. Thank you for watching. And remember what the great Sam Seltzer said, it's not what you put in, but what you take out.